Hi, Shimmy Shaker, and welcome to our absolute beginner's workout. I am so excited to teach you this one. This is designed especially for those of you who might not have danced before or have only danced a little bit, and you're looking for a fun way to get fit and move your body. Okay, let's warm up. So starting off, just shaking out, releasing through your back. So if you have any injuries, always make sure you get your doctors okay before you exercise. We're gonna work hard today, but have a lot of fun as well. That's it. And then reaching up and over, getting some energy into your side body. Beautiful. So if you've never belly danced before, it's a really beautiful ancient art form. It's been around for thousands of years and it's got heaps and heaps of benefits. It reduces the mind from aging. It really helps with our body isolation, reaching through, feeling it through here. Helps with our body isolation. Other way, can be really good for your back and it's lots of fun. Reaching one side then the other, good. And then bringing one arm in front, feeling it through here, good. And other side, good. And side to side, reaching all the way through. That's it, good. And then just dropping down, little bend in your knees if you need. And then swinging out side to side. Just a few more. And back to centre, rolling all the way up. And just bringing one ankle forward then the other. So I'm lifting one foot up, then the other. Good. Beautiful. Rolling out through your shoulders. That's it. So we're gonna work our whole body today. That means we have to warm up our whole body other way. Good. And then just releasing through our neck, dropping your head down, nice slow circles around. So let me know in the comments, is this your first time belly dancing? I'd love to know. Other way. And opening up through your chest. And then forward, opening up through your back. Good. Open and reach. Open and reach, good. Okay, you should be feeling nice and warm now. Let's shake it out. So first of all, we wanna start off with our good posture. So start with your feet hip width apart. If you don't have a mirror and you can't tell what's hip width for you, you can bring your heel to your toe and then turn your foot around and that should be your hip width. We then bring our pelvis tucked in. So if you imagine your pelvis is like a big bowl of soup from here, you're squeezing here and here so that it's nice and upright. Hold through our core strong, chest up, hands on the boardroom table. That's it. So first of all, we're gonna start with our hips. We're bringing our hip over to one side and then the other side. Good. So as you do this one, you want to try and keep your chest up nice and tall and just work through those hips, nice and relaxed. So you can see from the side, I'm using my knees as well to get that hip over. It's not a big bend in the knee, just a little bend. Releasing through, yes, nice. Really try and engage with that part of your body. Let's speed it up. Still keeping it soft. You can really work through your core, feel it working all the way through here as you stand up tall and as you bring that hip to the side. Good, beautiful. Good. Now stay with this speed and arms come down and up, down and up. Good, sometimes it can be hard to coordinate this one. But just try not to think about it, just follow my moves. Good. Good, and back to centre. This time we're coming one side and centre, other side and centre. So it's two each side. One, two, one, two, one, two. Still keep it soft. And use those knees, nice and gentle. One, two, one, two, one, two. Our feet are flat on the floor. That's it. 
Two a little faster. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Good. So again, if you're finding this hard to coordinate, don't worry. Just copy me. That's it. Good. And shake it out. Okay, next move is very similar. We're coming into some hip flicks. So for this one, again, remember, feet hip width apart, pelvis tucked in, chest up, hands on the bordering table. We are using the knee to bring a flick strong. So all I'm doing is bending the knee, flick out strong. Bending the other knee, flick out strong. Flick, 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 and flick. Good. So with this one, make sure you're standing up nice and tall. You don't want to be leaning to one side or the other. Flick, 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 flick. Good. Keep your arms strong as well. We're getting a little bit of an arm workout here too and a nice smile on your face. <laughs> That's gonna help you enjoy your workout a little faster. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Good. So remember, coming from your knees, using that flick through your legs, keeping your feet on the floor, keeping your chest up nice and tall. Good. Okay, if you're ready for it. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Nice work. Good, stay with it. So you might be feeling a little bit hot now. You can pause and take a break anytime you need, have a drink of water anytime you need, and then come back and join me as soon as you're ready. Okay, back to centre. We're coming one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. So after each one, coming back to centre. Flick, centre, flick. Flick, centre, flick. Flick, centre, flick. Flick, centre, flick. A little faster. One, two, one, two, one, two. You got it. Good. Good. So we're really feeling engaged through your hips, through your core. We're working our legs now as well. Make sure your feet are staying on the floor. That's it. Make sure your arms are nice and strong. You might be over here by now. You want to keep it out. Good. That's it. Good. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Good. And shake it out. Okay, this time we're doing the same move with a different pattern. We're going one, two, three, and other side. One, two, three, and flick. So three on this side and one on the other side. Three, two, one, other way. Three, two, one, another way. Three, two, one, other way. Three, two, one, other way. Shake it out. Okay, let's try three on this side, one on this side. Two, one, and flick. Three, two, one, and flick. Three, two, one one and flick three two one and flick i know this is really working your brain <laughs> which is one reason why belly dancing is so good for us why it gets that brain working reduces the brain from aging helps our intelligence so many benefits and shake it out good job okay let's go back to our basic flicks one side then the other good nice and grounded that's it. Good. Make sure your chest is still up. Doing really, really well. Good. That's it. Good. Okay, this time we're coming back two and two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Stay with it. That's it. Good. Remember to smile. And three. One, two, three, and over. One, two, three, and over. One, two, three, and over. One, two, three, other side. Three, two, one, switch. Three, two, one, switch. Three, two, one, switch. Three, two, one, other side. Three, two, one, over. Three, two, one, over. Three, two, one, over. 
other side. Three, two, one, over, three, two, one, over, three, two, one, over, three, two, one, and shake it out. Awesome job. Okay, we're going to bring our hip slides and our hip flicks together now. So we have slide, slide, flick, and flick. Slide, slide, flick, and flick. So you can see the difference between the slide and the flick. The slide is nice and soft, the flick is nice and strong. Slide, slide, flick, flick, slide, slide, flick, and flick, slide, slide, flick, and flick, slide, slide, flick, a little faster. Slide, slide, flick, flick, slide, slide, flick, flick, slide, slide, flick, flick, slide, slide, flick, flick. Stay with it. Good. Good. Keep your posture up. Make sure your elbows are away from your body. That's it. Good. 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 Woo, I can feel it in my arms now. And shake it out, good work. Okay, we've got one last combo with our hip slides and flicks. This time we're doing three slides. Three, two, one, and flick. Three, two, one, and flick. So because you've got three on one side, we then come to the other side. So nice and slow. Three, two, one, flick. 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 That's it. Good. Good. Good, shake it out. Okay, this time we're doing the other side. So starting the other way. Three, two, one, flick. Three, two, one, flick. Three, two, one, flick. Three, use your knees. Posture tall. Arms out. Energy in your fingers as well. Feel the difference with the flick. You're working that knee. Flick. And knee. Knee. So that knee straightens quick. 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 That's it. Quick, quick, and shake it out. Awesome work, beautiful work. That works your mind as well as your body. We're ready for our next move. So shaking it out if you need to release. We're bringing again our feet hip width apart, pelvis tucked in, chest up, hands on the boardroom table. This time we're bringing one hip forward and then the other hip forward. So really important with this one, you wanna try and bring the hip forward, not your whole body. So rather than this, we we'll just bring that hip forward. Your body will move a little bit, but you don't want to be bringing it the whole way over. By doing it isolated this way, you're going to feel it even more through your core. That's it. Good. I'll show you from the side. Twist and twist, twist. So this is really good for your abdominals, this one. Let's speed it up. Woo! See that shimmy scarf shaking. Remember, stay up nice and tall, core strong. Good. Stay with the twist. Twist and twist and twist and twist. So try and relax into it. You can see for this one, unlike the flick, my knees are quite relaxed. I'm not using my knees for this move. I'm using all through my obliques, my side core muscles. That's it, keep going. Good, good. Okay, coordination time. Stay with this move and come down and up, down and up, good. Good, so you can take away the arms if you want to. You can just keep your arms here if you need to. Good, good. And come back to centre, good. Okay, and next challenge today, we're going to step out to the side. So to do this one, I step out and then bring one foot in, step out and in, out and in, 
out and in. Other way, out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. A little faster, out, in, out, in. So as you step in, you're not coming together, you're coming just hip width apart. Good. We add the twist, out and in, out and in, out and in. So it's like the two moves work separately with this one. Keep the twist, stepping out and in. That's it. Good, good, good. I know this one's <laughs> very hard for the mind especially. Try and keep your arms long if you can. Posture up tall. Watch from the side. Good. 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 Arms nice and strong. Good. 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 Stay with it. Just the twist now. Good. And arms down and up. So if you lose it any time or you're feeling it's too much any time, you can always come up, drop down, shake it out. And then join me again when you're ready. Twisting through. That's it. Good. Out and together. Out and in. Out and in. Out. Other way. Out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Out. This time for four. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And other way. Four. Three. Two. And last one. And shake it out. Nice work. A really, really good job. They are hard moves. Okay, we're still going to work with this move. This time we are going to do two to one side, two to the other side. So again, setting up your good posture and stepping or using your twist first and then let's step out. One and two, other way. Other way, so two steps and change direction. Keep those arms strong, good. So try not to do this kind of thing with your arms if you can. You'll actually work more for this one if you keep your arms still because then we're really isolating through our hips, through our core. This time we're going one, center, other side to center. One side, together, other side and in. Out and in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Stay with it. Good. Really good if you have a shimmy scarf for this one. <laughs> or even just a little scarf you can put around your waist. Good. 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 That's it. Ooh. And shake it out. Oh my goodness. How good does that feel? We are nice and warm now. We are definitely into our workout. Okay, time to bring some moves together. So we've already learnt our posture, we've learnt our hip slides, we've learnt our hip flicks, and we've learnt our twists. So now we are going to do slide, slide, flick, flick, twist, 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 twist. Slide, slide, flick, flick, twist, 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 twist. So slide for two, Flick for two, twist for four. That's it, slide, slide, flick, flick, twist, 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 a little faster. Slide, slide, flick, flick, four, three, two, one. Slide, slide, flick, flick, four, three, two, one. Slide, slide, flick, flick, four, three, two, one. Slide, slide, flick, flick, four, three, two, one, and shake it out. Nice work. So we're going to do this combination again, but I want you to be really conscious of the different moves. So I want to be able to see the difference between a slide, between a flick, and between a twist. Okay, are you ready? 
bracing up strong. We're going to start this time, side this time. Six, seven, eight. Slide, slide, flick, flick. Four, three, two, one. Slide, slide, flick, flick. Four, three, two, one. So if you're finding it's hard to tell the difference, just watch for a little bit. See if you can see the difference. I'll show to the side. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Slide, slide, flick, flick, twist. Slide, slide, flick, flick, twist. Slide, slide, flick, flick, twist. Shake it out. Oh my goodness, nice work, Shimmy Shaker. Okay, we are coming into a new move now and this is our hip circles. So our hip circles, again, starting with our good posture, you know it. And we bring our hips forward to the side, back, other side. Forward, side, back and side. Forward, side, back and side. Forward, side, back and a little faster. So smooth it out, but try and keep your chest up. This one is really, really good for all those abdominal muscles. And you can keep a little bend in your knees. Knees are nice and relaxed. That's it. And let's try the other way. Forward, side, back and side. Forward, keep your chest up. Good, keep your feet on the floor. Good. Knees relax and smooth it out. Good. So this one, you can breathe. Any soft movements, it's really good to breathe, relax into it. So it's going to help you get the smoothness of the movement. Good. Good. And other way. Four, three, two, and change. Four, three, two and change. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two and one. So you probably found that one side is easier than the other, which is really, really normal. Always you'll find one way easier, one way really challenging. But don't worry, just persevere with it. That's it. Four, Three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Now frame the hips. Three, two, and one. Other way. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Nice work. Okay, this time we're coming into a different move that is breaking away from our usual belly dancing posture. We're still doing our hip circles, but we're bringing our feet out quite a lot wider. So our feet are wider than our hips now. We bring our hips forward. We bring our hips to the side. We bring our hips back. As we come back, we're leaning forward a little bit and then to the other side. So it's forward, side, back, and side and smooth it out. So you can see my body is just leaning forward. I'm not leaning to the side at all with my body. It's like one of those drinking birds coming <laughs> down and in. Nice and relaxed. This can be a really nice one to loosen up through the hips and loosen through the back as well. And it feels so nice. <laughs> That's it. Two more. Last one and shake it out. Remember, you can always release coming up and dropping down. Okay, let's try it the other way. So feet a little wider than our hips. Bring our hips forward, side, back and side. Again, you'll find one side might feel better than the other. Nice and smooth. With this one as well, make sure your feet are still facing forwards. If you're facing here, might feel a little bit funny on your knees, keep those hips or hips face forward, but also your feet face forward. That's it. Good. Good. Relax into it. Just enjoy it. Good. And shake it out. Okay, this time we're going back to the same side, adding in some arms. So nice and slow. Forward, side, back. We cross over and open. So forward, side, back, our arms across, doesn't matter which one's in front, and over. And then nice and smooth. 
So it's like, goodbye hips, hello, <laughs> goodbye and hello. I love this move. <laughs> so even though this is a beginner's move, you'll see even professional belly dancers use this one all the time. In fact, all our moves today, even though they're great for beginners, we all use them. Good. Okay, other way. Forward, side, back, close your arms, and other side. Forward, side, back, and smooth it out. So if you're finding this move really hard, again, try not thinking about it. Try just doing it. Beautiful. Nice little stretch through the hamstrings. If you're finding you're really tight, you can bend your legs as you come back. So you can bend here if you need to. If you're really tight through these muscles here. Good. Okay, shake it out. This time we are doing one side, then the other. So coming down this way, then down this way. So we'll do four one way, four the other way. Let's go. Four, three, two, and last one. And other way, four, three, two, one more, and other side, four, three, two, last one, and other way, four, three, two, one, and shake it out. Nice work. Okay, same thing. This time we're doing two one direction, two the other direction. Hips nice and wide. Let's go. One, two, other way. One, and two, other way. One, two, other way. And change. Take away the arms if you want to. You can just keep it in your hips. That's it, it's almost like the arms help balance, I find with this one. But whatever feels better for you today. Nearly there. And take a pose. <laughs> yeah, awesome work, awesome work. Okay, we are coming into our upper body now. We are doing some beautiful chest work. So chest is really important in belly dancing as well. Even though we often think it's all about the hips, we also work through here. And to work through here, we use our core. So again, starting off really strong posture. We're bringing our chest up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. So if you imagine you've got something tied to you just here, it's lifting straight up and down, we're elongating through our core. Up and down, up and down, that's it. Up and down, up and down, up and down, and you can do this move soft. Or you can do it strong. Up and down, up and down. And the difference is all in your core. So soft, 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 strong, 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 and strong. Soft, 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 strong, 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 Strong. So make sure your neck's nice and relaxed in this one. You don't want to compensate, bring your chest up by moving your neck. Our neck stays still, up and down, up and down. You're trying to isolate through here. And same thing with your shoulders. Try and keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. You don't want to be going like this. <laughs> so shoulders down, neck relax. Soft, 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 strong. Strong, strong, strong. So four, or up and down, up and down, then strong, up, strong, down, strong, up, strong, down. Good, 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 good. Try and keep smiling <laughs> and shake it out. Awesome job, a really, really good work. We're staying with this mood, we're going a little faster one of each. So soft, soft, strong, strong. Soft, soft, strong, strong. 
soft, soft, strong, strong, soft, soft, strong, strong. This one, it's really hard to talk as well while we're doing it because you're using all your muscles through here. Good. Okay, let's just stay with accent on the lift now. So if you're accenting on the lift, it's strong up, release down. Strong up, release down. Strong up, release. Up, up, good. Up, good, up, good. Keep breathing, using that core. Up, 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 up. So accent on the up, keep your shoulders relaxed. Good, good. And shake it out, ooh, good job. Okay, this time we're going accent on the down, starting slow. Up and drop, up and drop, up and drop, up and drop, that's it. Up and drop strong, up soft, drop strong, up soft, drop strong, up soft, drop strong, up and down. Good, 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 drop. Drop, 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 drop. A little faster. Drop, 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 drop. That's it. And shake it out. Awesome job. Okay, this time we are bringing our chest lifts and our chest drops together in our accent. So we're gonna go up for four and then down for four. So we're still going up and down each time. It's just that the accent will be up for four and then the accent is down for four. Let's try it together. Again, starting off good posture and up. Four, three, two, now drop accent. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Good, 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 good. Really feel it working through your core. I'm finding it really hard to talk while doing this one. Good, nearly there. And shake it out, well done. Okay, this time we're gonna do two up, two down, nice and quick. So remember, even though you're coming up and down, it's the accent for two up, accent for two down. Let's try it. One, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Get. A little faster. One, two, down, two. Two, down, two. Good. 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 And shake it out. Oh my goodness, nice work. Let's just have a little stretch after that one. So reaching forward, you can curve your spine here. And then opening up through your chest as well. Good. And shake it out. Okay, we're still staying with our chest, but we're coming in a different direction this time. So starting with our good posture again, nice and strong. We bring our chest to the side and then the other side. So this one you might find a little easier if you're holding onto the part you're moving. So for this one, we're moving through our chest. We want to keep our chest to the front the whole time. So we're not twisting, that'll be another move. <laughs> we're just bringing it to the side. And even though we're leaning our torso over, our hips don't move and also our head doesn't move. So we're keeping our head and our hips nice and strong. And the torso comes side to side. You know those typewriters where it gets to the end and it goes chung, chung, chung. That's it. That's the kind of movement we want. So make sure your chest is facing to the front. If you can't tell if it's facing to the front, if you're in front of a mirror, if you hold your hands here, your hands should be with fingers pointing to the front. So they don't want to be here or here, facing to the front. Good, 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 good. Little smile. You're doing really, really well. We're over halfway through our workout and you've learnt some hard moves already all through our core. So if you're feeling really tired, remember any time you can take a break if you need to. I haven't put a break into this just because 
If you need a drink, you can pause any time you need and take it. Good. Okay, we're going a little faster now. So one, two, one, two. Still nice and relaxed. Still keeping that chest facing the front. Good. Good. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Good. Good. Beautiful work, shimmy shakers. If you're still going, if you're up to here, please let me know in the comments. We're gonna get through the whole hour. Even if you feel you can't do it the first time, you can build up to it. Good, shake it out. Okay, this time we're coming one, center, side, center, side, center, side, center. So two to this side, then two to this side, still keeping it nice and soft. So remember our hip slides? It's a slide, it's not a flick. We come one, center, two, one, two, one, two. So you can see already, we're really using our core. That's it. Good. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and shake it out. Nice work. Okay, this time we are going to do two, two, one, one, one. Other side, then each side. And two, one, two, one, two, side to side. Good, and two. Side to side, good. Keep those arms long. Good, good. Good. Feel it working through your core. That's it. Good. Two. Side to side. Good. Good. Last set. And shake it out, awesome job. So again, if you need, you can give yourself a little stretch through here, especially if you're not using these muscles or you've been sitting at a computer a lot, that one can be really hard. And the next one is going to be a challenge for you too, but it's going to be really, really good for you. Again, starting with our strong posture, we're bringing our chest forward to one side and then the other side. So this is like a chest twist. Rather than side to side or up and down, we're bringing it forward and forward, forward, and forward. So we're isolating from here up. From here down, stay still. So I know often when you're doing this move, you can move the whole body. You just want to move the chest. That's it. Good. 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 Okay, and speed it up. So this is like a chest shimmy. When you go really fast, you're bringing one part of your chest forward, then the other. So nice and slow, forward, 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 forward. Okay, a little faster. This is the challenge to try and get it to a nice strong speed. So try and stay relaxed. Try and keep your arms nice and relaxed. Stay with it, stay with it. You're doing really well. Good, 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 good. Okay, we can hold our hands strong. Make sure as well for this one that your hands are just in front of your body. If they're out here, it's gonna be, oh, see, I did my hips then too. Um, if it, you're out here, it's gonna be hard to move. You wanna keep your hands just in front. That's it, good. Okay, you can stay here. Or next challenge, we come over and over. Good, over and over. So we're stepping out one side to the other. Good, good, good. Okay, and then see if you can keep going with it. And just do a little walk around your room or wherever you are. When we do these moves together, it's called a layer. So anytime you're doing two moves at once, it's a layered move. Really popular in belly dance, these layered moves. That's it. 
Come back to centre when you're ready. And over, and over, and over, and over, 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 and over. Woo! Good. Good. You're doing really, really well. Good. Good, and shake it out. Awesome job. Oh, you can have a nice stretch side to side, release it through. You can open through your chest and you can release through your upper back. Okay, next move is a really, really fun one. We are learning our shimmy. This is an essential move in belly dance. This is a really good workout for our legs. There's many different types of shimmy and I'm gonna teach you our classic Egyptian knee shimmy. So again, starting with good posture, feet hip width apart, pelvis tucked in, chest up, hands on the bottom table. We're bending one knee, then the other. One, then the other, one, then the other. Make sure your heels stay on the floor. Make sure your body and your posture is nice and strong. If you learn one thing for today, <laughs> is to keep the posture strong. Good, good. So unlike our hip flicks, where we pushed our hip to the side, for this one, our hips are just staying to the center. All we're doing is bending the knee. So as one knee bends, the other one straightens. And as one leg straightens, the other one bends. So if you've got a mirror, you want to make sure that you're really getting that nice big bend in the knee. A little faster. Staying nice and relaxed through here as we speed up our shimmy, but still keeping our good posture. Make sure you're upright. You don't want to lean back for this one. It'll be too much pressure on your lower back. Good, good, good. Stay with it. Doing really well. Good. Good. And a little faster. That's it. Still keep it nice and strong in your knees. Nice and big. Good. And as fast as you can. That's it, that's it. Go, go, go. Oh, this one feels so good. We're shaking out everything from here down. Yes. Oh, such an energizing move. Okay, try and stay with it. Remember, anytime you can, you can bring it up, drop down, reset. Otherwise, try and stay with the shimmy. If you lose it, you can start slow and then build up to go faster. Otherwise, try and stay fast the whole time. Feet flat on the floor. Make sure both knees are bending strong as well. You don't want just one knee. You want both knees going. Good. Good. That's it. So you can see everything through here shaking. Good. Okay, hands come down and up. You can keep your hands in basic position if you like. Otherwise, see if you can challenge that mind. Beautiful. Good. Keep it strong through those legs. And back to centre. That's it. See if you can keep going with me. We're going to try and go to the end of this song. That's it. Good. Good, good, good. Stay with it, stay with it. Good. So, especially if you're shimmy, this is a move that gets into our muscle memory. The more you do it, the easier it will become to do. But also you have to be strong as well as relaxed. If you're too tight through here, you're not gonna be able to do it. But if you're not strong enough through your knees and through your core, you're not gonna be able to do it either. So if you're finding it hard right now and you've made it this way far through the workout, awesome work. <laughs> if you do it even once a week, two or three times a week, you will feel the difference. It's all about our brain getting used to the moves, but also our muscles getting used to the moves as well. So it's that interaction of our brain and our muscles working together to keep us really strong, to keep us really young as well. And as I said, to have fun. Nearly there. And take a pose. Yeah, awesome job. <laughs>
Okay, so we are ready for our final move and then we are going to bring it all together. We are doing another shimmy. This one is our feet shimmy. So whereas the last one was all through our knees, this one is coming through our feet. Again, we start with good posture, but this time we are keeping our feet off the floor. Knees are nice and relaxed and we're lifting one foot, then the other. So one, then the other. This requires a little bit of balance. So just persevere with it. Stay strong, that's it. And you see, as I lift, I'm not lifting my whole body up and down, it's just the leg. Up, 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 one foot then the other. Up, 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 a little faster. So I'm nice and relaxed through here, staying up on the toes. Posture up nice and tall. That's it. And then we start to speed it up even more. Quick, 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 quick. So you can see as I speed it up, everything starts to shimmy through here. Good. Now fast as you can. Lifting up. Quick, quick. Good, good, good. Fast as you can. That's it, that's it. Really working out through those legs. Nice. Okay, now we're gonna to start to move. So little steps over to the side and then over to the side. So as I lift, I'm taking a little step across, only really small steps. Let's go back. Little steps back, turn around, other way. Little steps back, turn around, other way. Little steps back, turn around. Other way, little steps back. Turn around, other way. Good, good, good. And then you can do any little patterns you like. Whatever space you're in, keep it strong. And shake it out. Nice work, shimmy shake out. You have learned all our moves for our workout today. We're now gonna bring them all together. So remember, we learned our hip slides. We learn our hip flicks. We learn our hip twists. We learn our hip circles, our bigger circles. We learn our hip, or so chest up, chest drop, smooth and hard. We learn our chest twists. We learn our knee shimmy. And we learned our feet shimmy. Okay, so we are gonna do four of each move, bringing it all together. I'll count you in, I'll call you through it. Starting with our hip slides. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, three, two, flick. Four, three, two, twist. Four, three, two, and then circle. Other way for four. Four, three, two, and big circle. Four, three, two, and other way. Good. Good. And coming back in, chest lifts. Up, 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 down, 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 slide, side, 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 four, three. That's our chest twist. And then knee little shimmy. You can't really count this one or how many you do because you're going so fast. And then onto our feet shimmy. Good, so there are all our moves. Let's do it together again. Bring them all together, doing four of each. Five, six, seven, eight. Slide, 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 slide. Flick, 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 flick. Twist, 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 circle. Circle, circle, other way. Circle, 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 and bigger. Circle, circle, circle. One more, other way. Get, good. And chest in, up, up, up. And drop, down, 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 down. Chest twist. That's it. 
Good. And chest slide. Four, three, two, and knee shimmy. And feet shimmy. Good. Beautiful. Back to centre. Slide, 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 slide. Flick, flick, circle, circle, shimmy. And now let's have a little freestyle. So you can do whatever moves we've learnt today, however you like. You can do your slides, your flicks, your twists, your circles, your big hip circles, your chest slides, your shoulder shimmy, your knee shimmy, and your feet shimmy. Awesome work, shimmy shaker. That is our workout done. It is time to stretch. Oh my goodness, high five to you guys. If you made it all the way through here, let me know in the comments. Awesome work. That was really, really tough, really challenging physically as well as mentally. Okay, let's bring one foot back. We're feeling the stretch through our calf. We need this one after our feet shimmy. And then reaching through, feeling it through our upper back. And then bring the other foot back. This time opening up through your chest, feeling it through your calf, but all through, through your chest. And then bring one foot in front, just leaning forward, feeling it through the back of your leg. So the more you do workouts like this, the easier it's gonna get for you. A lot of people think belly dancing is really easy. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> other side, feeling it through the back of the leg. It takes a long time to train to get used to moving those muscles in that way. And then just bringing one leg in, hold on to something if you need to, knees together, hips forward, feeling it through the front of your leg. And it's always, well, if you put in the time, you'll get the results. Other side. Good, feeling it through here. And then just bringing one leg over, sinking down, feeling it through your glutes. And then staying here, pushing down the knee. You can sit on a chair if it's more comfortable for you doing this one. Good. And other side. I hope you like the music too. If there are any of the songs you liked, I've listed them below. You can check them out. Knee down. And as you get more comfortable with the moves, you can do a little bit more freestyling. That's it, and then just coming in, opening up through your chest again, and then just dropping your head down, opposite shoulder stays down, feeling it through the side of your neck. And back to centre, other side. Good. And back to centre, head straight down. You can interlace your fingers, use the weight of your hands on your head. Feeling it through the back of your neck. And back to centre, chin to the ceiling, feeling the stretch through the front of your neck. And then feet hip width apart, slowly rolling all the way down. A little bend in your knees if you need, just feeling it through the back of your legs and through your lower back. And over to one side. over to the other side and back to centre rolling all the way up and shake it out awesome job thank you so much for joining me I hope you enjoyed that one hour absolute beginners workout it's great to have a dance with you if you have any questions about any of the technique or anything really um, write in the comments below and I will get back to you and I will see you in our next video happy dancing